why run a business? What is the point? Is there any difference in a business and a job? I mean, wow, this country is in, I'm gonna say turmoil right now in, is it worth running a business? Should you be doing your own thing? Is a job, does a job have security and all these things? But here's what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do a deep dive into the UK business state. Deep dive into what is your JOB security state. Join me on my four month tour. Yes, I'm going to be traveling for four months in my bongo. This is not a van life documentary. I promise you that. What this is, this is going to be a reality check, an exposure of the state of UK business in this current climate. I'm going to bring to you what is the reality to what success looks like. I'm going to bring to you the reality of what running a business looks like and the reality in whether a job has more security than a business these days. We're going to meet the business owners that are basically on less than minimum rate. We're going to meet the business owners that are saturated financially and have more money than they can use. We're going to touch both ends of the scale and bring to you in this documentary, in these next four months, what it takes, whether it's a good thing, whether it's a successful thing to run a business. You're going to get to experience all those individuals that have made it through COVID, all those that didn't make it through COVID, all those that wish they'd given their business up in COVID and taken out the job. All those who wish they didn't have a job and run a business instead. We're going to meet them all. We're going to bring them here. In the meantime, I'm also going to be sharing with you how to monetize your YouTube channel. The pros, the benefits, the whys, how to make money on your YouTube channel. We're going to share that also. I'm going to share that journey with you and my YouTube manager. Hmm. I guess I need to ask my wife if she let me go on a four month tour in my bongo. Okay, so I'm guessing there's a reality to all this and one is, I have absolutely no idea how to do professional footage. I mean, I've got a ton load of cameras and stuff, but you know what? Now I'm having to learn how to do B shots and all these kinds of things over the next couple of months. So bear with me and you'll see my footage improve, I'm sure. But you just do a little walkout because I want to show you basically what I'm going to spend my four months in. Yeah, so let me just take it. And you know, I think I would have to do that, I guess. Yeah, something like that. Never really done anything. So anyway, let me just take you in and uh, show what I'm going to spend my four months. Happy days. Ah, yes, here. This is going to be my home for four months. This is where I'm going to spend my time to really think, think about who it is I want to put myself in front of, who I want to get in front of the camera to really bring to the documentary the truth, the reality, the exposure and the state of UK business. Now, some are going to disagree and say, well, no, we, the UK is in a good place. Well, yeah, they will if they're doing well. But there are many, many millions of UK business owners that are now below minimum wage. We want to talk to those people. We want to talk to the people that are, already, that are making extensive profits in their business. And we want to talk to those, how are they doing it? How can they drip feed that information, that advice down into the poverty business? The place where networking is scraping for sales. We're going to look at that, the reality of the lives of those business owners, the length and breadth of the UK. Absolutely. Bear with me as I learn to um, climate, as I climatize myself to my camera kit and 
the GoPros and truthfully my first my first intro into GoPros is man you guys are so ill designed it's so, like there are so many inconveniences to using a GoPro when filming as much as the quality is great it's like guys get it together eh so anyway I'm going to be I'm going to be traveling in this and let me just give you a quick tour so I'm going to spin the camera around again poor poor production but hey bear with me as this so I spin around and you know so just uh just regular cab in a bongo I guess my seat has been accustomed to be turned around and this year uh, my screen fits on here um, which basically I'll be doing all my work from this year my laptop and things will all be happening regular kind of um, well, I don't know really. I kitted this out myself about oh, about two years ago and it's been kind of hovering around with me. I've done some travels with it, but truthfully, probably nowhere near enough. Um, and now this is going to be, as say, my home for four months. Um, you know, let me just spin around this way if I can and get here we are. The all important. So my bed. So I, I do have um, a pop-up roof, but I decided not to use it as my bed because it can get chilled. And also, I only raise it really to create um, what is headroom for me. You know, everything else is here on my water storage. I don't want to make this a van life thing, but in there is all my storage and stuff. All important fridge, this, my gas cooker, my little sink in there. I have cold water this hall. Uh, my bed, um, this extends out. She's she's a spring spring bed um i made it myself so she's really cool and of course the all important here we are toilet um yes every cave has got to have a toilet in one way or another a little close to my bed but hey that's the only place i could fit it in yeah absolutely um all storage space there and basically guys that's me that's home i shall be leaving in about two to three weeks all i ask is jump on follow this journey it's going to be a three-layer journey the documentary of the of the travel um not a van life let's remember that it's going to be a full deep dive documentary of business in the uk and above all i'm going to be showing i'm going to be dropping to you what it takes to monetize your youtube channel with my YouTube manager, we're going to be going through all the important information, the pitfalls, what you need to do, and all the greatness to be made for you to be able to monetize, build, start, present your YouTube channel. Because here's the thing. The prediction now is that if you don't have a YouTube channel or a podcast channel up in place and established within the next three to five years, you're going to struggle as an SME business. Boom! There it is in your face. So follow me. I'll help you with all that you'll need in order to monetize, create, build, maximize your presence on YouTube. Happy days. Okay, so what's first? Well, the first thing for me is I know I'm going to need a suit. Um, well, I don't have to, but I want to take one suit that is going to be the prime suit that I wear for some of the interviews that I do with the business people that I meet. Now, it's not going to be sort of practical for everybody, but I do want to take one suit. But use the thing. I'll show you something now. Look, so use my, these are my suits. But here's the thing. Can't get into any of them. I'm probably about, um, <laughs> I'm probably about um, three quarters stone now. It's probably cheaper to lose weight. And I have been, you know, I've been back on my bike, back at out doing things, but there's still there's still about two inches for me to get into those trousers. So I reached out to a mate, Tom Bennett, probably one of the finest tailors in our country. I mean the history that his family has. Um, in making some of the most unique suits by some of the most A-list celebrities is amazing. So I reached out to Tom. I said, can we do an exchange? You know what? I am going to lose the weight, but I can't do it quick enough. And he said, what do you want? And I said, want something funky, something sort of full on out there. And he said, do you know what? He said, I got some material long and about. He said, pay for my material. He said, and my labor's free. I'm like, wow. Mm. 
I'm going there this Friday. So that's my first stop is to get my suit made and um, not to, you know, push out there. But this man, his suits are like 10k a piece. How generous is that, eh? Whoa! So yeah, I'm going to shoot off this Friday down to Tom Bennett's in Bristol and let you know I get on. Actually, I'm going to film some of it because you need to meet him. He's such a beautiful person. Absolutely. So that's my first stop. Plus, I've got to order a lot of kit. I've, I've got some security cameras for my van. It's a bongo. It's easy to get into. Do you know what I mean? And also some security cameras for outside. So when I am parked in those scary places, I'm not scared. Because I'm one of those, you know, where I get kind of all nervous when it comes to being in the night in the van on my own. So I get kind of all nervous, do you know what I mean? I do in the night. So I've got all these security cameras that are gonna fit in and all that kind of jazz and all that kind of stuff. Still I'm an ass dab though, yeah. Mm. I think I can do something special to kind of bring her in slowly to the idea, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well anyway, We'll catch up on the weekend. I'm going to um, just run through what I've been doing to the van and get all my kit. I'm like, I kind of, let me just do this. It's kind of all there. Um, there's loads of stuff going on here. I mean, I'll get all this stuff sorted and ready to go. Look at my, my cycling shorts, man. You don't want them on there, Paul. And of course, I have all this kit here to sort. So there's a lot of stuff going on. And I somehow have got it because I've got a, a pile of. Um, yeah, got a pile of light in. Look, let me show you if I can. Oh, squeeze that in. All this stuff has got to go somewhere because it's all my lighting kit for the interviews and stuff. So, yeah, there's a lot to think about. But hey, I will keep you updated and let's do this together. Take 1154 just to do four clips of video. It's crazy. Um, and you know what? I didn't realize until I started filming that I have a double chin. Mm. So I says to Deb, I said, Deb, how come I got a double chin? She said, Paul, the camera always has to be coming down and you not coming up to you. So then it will hide what I've seen under your chin for many years, which is that little subtle double chin. What? Lighting. You may see my ring lights in my glasses. Don't think of these things, do we? But hey, I will improve as I go along for sure. I am going to reach out to my best mate, Andrew O'Leary of F9 Films to give me some hints and tips before I get going. Yeah, absolutely. So you may ask, well, what does, what the, how, what's, let me go that again. Take 1000, whatever it was, whatever it was. What makes Paul Rees qualified to be able to travel the length and breadth of the UK and interview some of the greatest and some of the um, more struggling business owners and get from them, reach into them and share with you the philosophies of of the UK business world right now? Well, a few things. One, I'm a professional deep dive interviewer. Um, I've specialised in this for the last six to seven years. I've interviewed some of the greatest business people and people all over the world via my radio show, UK Health Radio, and also via my YouTube channel where I present the videos of my deep dive interviews. Um, studying what that takes. Also, I run I run successful businesses for myself. I'm a business legacy designer. Um, I'm an entrepreneur coach, and I also coach philanthropic business designs and coach that into what is your entrepreneurial um, philosophies into your business, as well as, of course, um, a presenter and all those lovely things. But but mostly. My time is spent within the cutting edge of business mindset, um, the cutting edge of what it takes to um, run a successful business um, through yourself, not through your business, through yourself. So I understand, truly understand what it takes to make a business and also what it takes to lose a business, having been both ends of the scale myself several times. Um, I understand the value of money alignment and, and that is life currency as well as money currency. So all these things combine what is a, a library of thinking and a library of living, a library of being that um, make up for the whole shape of who I am that kind of 
pulls together that one engine that really understands people in business. Um, and that's what I'll be using um, over the next four months. So again, stick with me. Let's do this journey together. I'll need you there. I mean, bless, I'll leave my wife at home. I guess I do need to still ask her, eh? Yeah. <laughs>